Hey, all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Well, it's been a minute since I provided an update, so uh, we've got some things going on in Atlas Earth. And if you thought to yourself, wow, uh, I haven't heard from Bronze Dragon. He must be taking time off from Atlas Earth. You could not be any more wrong because I've been really busy, especially with the new challenge system. Uh, and we'll get into that uh, here in a minute. Um, there's also some news from um, Mod Manning uh, as far as what's going on. And I will provide an update as far as what I'm doing currently. Uh, before we get into that, um, if you are new here and you happen to just stumble across this uh, channel looking for play to earn games, mobile games, uh, things of that nature, um, I would strongly think about uh, trying out Atlas Earth if I were you. I've been playing it for about six and a half months now and I've made uh, almost 125 US dollars without investing really any pure money into the game. Um, there's a lot of things to do within the game that take a lot of time as far as watching advertisements, playing games, booking travel, doing surveys and things like that, um, that I've, I've taken part in most of those. Um, and it has taken a fair amount of time, but I haven't put any money specifically in to buy parcels. So with that, that'll just give you some kind of idea. But uh, I've, I'm having a fun time with it. So if by the end of this video or if you watch a few of my other videos on the topic, at the end of the video, I will link a video that tells you that I did, that tells you all about Atlas Earth, how to play it, how to make money on it, etc. Uh, check that out. And if you decide you want to play the game, uh, please use my referral code uh, that you can find in the show notes. And uh, by the time you hit your 11th parcel, you will get 200 free Atlas Bucks, which is uh, basically two parcels worth or one badge worth. And then on the flip side, I get 100 out of it as well. So it's a win-win situation with you get, getting twice as much as I do. Okay, so uh, let's drag, uh, first of all, a little bit of a personal update before the news. Um, I have been buying parcels and um, I had wanted to put out a big update video as far as what I did lately in the last week or two. Um, but this whole challenge system really just kind of threw a wrench into my plans. Um, in other words, I had to stop and um, rethink how I was going to do my tier jump, which I had planned for uh, November. Um, but either way, uh, look forward to that in the next week or two, depending upon when I can get that specific challenge uh, to pop up. And this is not looking good. okay. Much better. <clears throat> okay, so as you can see, I if you do the math, I'm sitting at 410 parcels now. So um, I am. Uh, it's been a while since I did a tear jump, um, and I was saving up. And I'll go into that in the other video. That's not what this video is about. Um, my update is really more about uh, the new challenge system and where I'm standing on that. How are you doing? Uh, how how have you been coming uh, coming through it? Uh, you can see that my last challenge, I have, have made it past 1150 and was able to um, to uh, get those uh, 30 Atlas Bucks. No, 20 Atlas Bucks, sorry. The next uh, award for me is the 25. I'm playing on the free-to-play side. We've talked about that in the last video. Um, and uh, one of the big items that people have been talking about on the boards is the fact that this meter is not exactly right uh, because you have to go over into the challenge, um, view your challenges, and then look under completed and actually add up how many points you have um, because the meter, uh, it can have the meter um, show it looks like you've earned your award to click on it but it's not really there so um, it seems like they need to work on that a little bit it would be nice and I've heard people mention this but I agree with it it'd be nice if they just had a little readout up there that said okay you have this many points you know so you can automatically tell but as far as the challenges go I found this new system kind of interesting and you know we went through this before and we're learning more as time goes along um, I'll link uh, leave a link to the page let me go ahead and pull this page over here um, this is the page. Let me get rid of my phone here. Um, this is the page that's being upkept with uh, the challenge information on it. 
Um, and once again, this is not by me. Uh, this is by another user, and I will leave credit uh, where credit is due in the show notes. Um, but he's upkeeping this list. And <clears throat> but the thing is, is you know, on the right he has the projected ta- task order. But what I've found is just it really depends upon which uh, tasks you complete and in which order. And there are some that are gated behind others. Like I've been really trying to get that um, buy parcels level three to pop up, and I haven't because then I'll be able to kind of finish off what I've been doing this month. But um, most of the uh, most of the challenges I've been doing have really been around. Um, playing the mini games which I really don't like and just playing these mini games just oh and I know I, I get on the boards and people are like oh it's just because you suck well yeah I agree but um, you have to to be able to progress through these challenges you have to go ahead and do it so the first level of the challenges or the, the first level of the mini games I didn't find too hard the second level got a little bit harder and there was a few of them where I'm kind of banging my head against the wall um, but with that said I still haven't got buy parcels level three to pop up let's take a look at my phone again and once again I'll leave this link in the show notes if you have not seen it um, but you can see uh, going down through here um, kind of what I uh, completed. Uh, surveys, uh, I did two levels of convert uh, virtual rent to Atlas Bucks, so that was a few bucks. Uh, complete AMP missions, uh, level one and level two. Boost rent, play bowling, all the mini games. Um, the first two levels of arcade. Um, purchase parcel, first two levels, and all the mini games. <clears throat> Let's see here. What else? Uh, da, da. I did. I went ahead and uh, I thought, well, if I go ahead and do a city badge, didn't really need a badge, but I went ahead and bought the city badge. Um, guess what popped up behind that? City badge level two. You know, so uh, that's kind of what where I'm at. Um, and currently, you know, I'm not going to do book travel. Um, I know a lot of people jumped on it early on, and what I consider kind of worked the system. I don't want to say it's cheating because it was legal to do up front, like book a hotel in Mumbai for three bucks, you know, and then you completed your uh, task. Was it legal? Yeah. Was it cheesy? Also, yeah. You know, so they fixed that though. Um, now the the travel has a minimum of $40. Uh, some other people have it pop up and, you know, there's still the argument of, you know, if you live in a part of the world where the uh, closest ant mission, like I saw a guy lives in South Africa, and uh, there is no way he can complete travel in uh, his country, you know. So uh, this is all being worked on, though. I expect a fair amount of changes uh, going into December. I mean, uh, I expect the challenges to be kind of the same. They might work on the points. They might work on uh, change uh, how many you need, you know. But uh, all the challenges are going to basically be the same because that's the stuff that's in the game, right? Um I'm thinking about going ahead and buying two city badges. Um, I don't know if that will open up what I need. Um, I've got we've got some challenges going on, some uh, mini games this week. We have um, Atlas Bowling coming up. We also have SRB gum, uh, coming up, and also he announced that uh, this week we will also have a boost on um, surveys. So keep that in mind. That'll help out if you need to do surveys. Um, so overall, I think I'm a little bit ahead of what I expected. And right. uh, apparently they've been reporting that um, huge numbers of people have been participating in. And that's what this whole program was about for the company, right? Making more revenue through getting people to participate more. Um, at the end of the month, I'm still going to take it all into scope and and look at the numbers and consider whether I'm going to go ahead and uh start uh, the premium uh, subscription. Um, I'm still uh, free to play right now. I'm, I've been uh, getting a, a fair amount of extra Atlas Bucks, but you know, I had somebody reply on my video I did on that topic uh, last week. I'm like, yeah, I can, I can understand. If you originally uh, subscribed for November and it, it basically turned out much different than we expected, right? Um, for better or for worse, um, there's some people that were still 
I don't want to say mad, but they were upset that they had spent money and it turned out the way it is. Now, uh, we will see at the end of the month whenever I do the numbers. Right now, I'm not feeling too bad. In fact, I was looking at the numbers um, and a few days before the end of the month, I'm going to consider, should I actually spend that $14.99 to, subs to back subscribe, in other words, so I can backfill and collect all those rewards. And we'll see if it's worth it. Um, and th at that point, uh, you know, you can expect a video within the last few days of the of November um, on that topic for me just taking a look at that okay so enough with that uh, also let me know in the show notes how you're doing in the new challenge system um, also let me know how you're feeling about it as far as um, do you think the subscriptions worth it do you think the $15 ones worth it do you are you going to subscribe uh, month after month for the $9.99 um, and what you're getting out of it so let me know and we can talk about it further so with that said, let's go ahead and look at the major news. I don't want to say it's major news, but it was an announcement. OK, so I'm pulling up Discord here um, and this was put out by Mod Manning earlier today. Um, <clears throat> and this kind of ring a bell um, with me because I've been IT support for a number of years. Um, and that's what I do. I, I did for a living for a long time. I'm an admin now. I'm a Salesforce admin now. but. Um, I answered tickets, and that's what his whole announcement really is about, okay? So um, I'm not going to read through this all, but um, the gist of it is that over the last several months, they've been working hard to improve their ticketing system and getting, um, getting issues fixed, right? Um, and at this point, um, he's no longer going to, um, what do I want to say, uh, Okay, well, let's just let's just read it and uh, we can go from there. Uh, he says, happy Monday. Um, hope everyone's excited about the big SRB this week. We also have surveys promo and the US, U.S. players will have an AMP promo tomorrow, um, which will be the 12th of November. Um, so lots going on and great to see people completing the challenges. The mini game participation yesterday in Warship was the single biggest participation we've seen, ever seen, which is like, I think he's kind of been saying this about all the mini games because obviously a lot of people you have to play it to get through your challenges, right? Um, Warship, I'm not great at, but I was able to get through it. Uh, I was able to knock out the first two levels um, and uh, relatively pulling my hair out. On Warship, um, I'm not the greatest and I admit it. Um, but uh, I can get like the first six or seven and then after that it's just like X, 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 X. So either way, um, he says, uh, I've engaged in Discord and Reddit over the last five months, really listening to the community. Now, if you, if you hang out on Discord or Reddit, you know, especially on Reddit, a lot of people would tag him specifically on issues. Um, and it kind of kind of burned me up because some people just don't know what you should do with an issue, especially new people. So that's what we're going to go through right now. His whole technic, uh, his whole uh, point here is put in a ticket. And if I had a dollar for every time I said that, I would be a millionaire because working IT support is the same thing. People, uh, whether they know, uh, most people will know about a ticketing system and know how issues are supposed to be resolved and yet still not use that. OK, now I'm not talking about the people that are new and they don't know about the system. Right. Um, and I'm. I'm not saying that it's a perfect system. All these systems need work and it's a work in progress, right? But most people, instead of taking five minutes or you know two minutes to fill out a ticket, will spend 25 minutes on Reddit writing out this big wall of text, you know, trying to complain and get uh, Mod Manning, which which ha who probably has a hundred other things that he needs to work on, right? So I'm um, just saying, um, basically the point to this was um, they've been working on the system and if you have a problem, put in a ticket. Don't go and tag him on Reddit or Discord um, because he's going to refer you to, hey, put a ticket in. Um, and that's because they have a whole system dedicated to that and they've been working on it. Okay. I know I'm going off on a tangent here. It sounds like I'm very hot about this issue is because I have worked it for years, you know? Okay. So, uh, we will look at, uh, what to do if you have an issue in a minute, but let's go ahead and finish out with his, uh, story. Um, as we have shared before, our support function is a technical support function. We have a whole bunch of known technical challenges due to problems that players have, like arcade games, rewards, surveys, AMP, and rewarding. 
Um, those are all really kind of the four big ones. And uh, we have mechanisms in which to handle those properly and credit the player. And if we need to give technical feedback to our development team, like there's a bug or something like that, uh, we document that for investigation and action if needed. Uh, from the IT perspective, you have this all, you have this ticketing system. And as an IT guy, uh, you're providing support. You log in, you log a case, you put all the details in, people can see it. If it needs to be forwarded to the development team because of a bug, there's a system in place, okay? Um, it's not just complaining on Reddit or some such, okay? Given all that progress, I wanted to share a change um, in how I'm going to personally engage with that. I will describe as known technical issues or challenges players have within Discord. For those, I will no longer intervene for well-established kind of support issues. Okay, so just like what we were saying, um, put in a ticket. Uh, as of now, when asked uh, if I'm going to tell you to please file a support ticket or support will get back to you uh, when they get your ticket. So. There's that. Okay, so I know I might have been a little bit hot on it because I was I was really feeling it because I read what he was saying and I'm like, preach it, brother. You know. So let's go ahead and show you actually what to do uh, if you're relatively new and you don't know how to put in a ticket. There's lots of issues, right? You know, this system is a great system when it works as far as how to get your points in your Atlas Bucks in, in Atlas Earth, but uh, when it doesn't work. Uh, flawlessly which what a lot of this stuff doesn't um because frankly behind the scenes it's magic right um what should you do uh it can be frustrating right so uh go into your app um first of all it's good to to capture some screenshots of what's going on if there's an error or if there's like you didn't get your rewards for the game capture a screenshot of what you're supposed to do the requirements for the rewards and then capture a screenshot in the game um, proving that you actually did what you're supposed to do. Or if it's something else, capture screenshots. Like say for instance, you went on an AMP mission and you didn't get credit for it. You bought a sandwich down at the sandwich shop. Take a picture of the, um, the receipt and then include that with your ticket. But with that said, uh, go in here, go to the little, um, this little, cog icon and then just click on help and support and if you click on help and then it'll bring up um this is an faq uh, obviously they're trying to give you the most frequently asked questions right up front and then um sometimes uh, you can resolve your own issue within a minute or two and you don't have to wait on a ticket right um, if that doesn't do it just click the little blue button at the bottom says chat with us um, and then uh, you open up a ticket and uh, go from there, uh, start a new conversation. You can see in my last tickets, um, it's pretty common. You know, I went through and uh, I was missing arcade rewards. I've done this several times. I'm not going to scroll back through all of them. But every time I put in a ticket and then um, train of thought there, uh, about two business days, um, and they get back to me, credit me uh, with what I needed. So the only issues I've really had was I've had a number of, of Atlas Arcade where I didn't get the, the Atlas Bucks I was supposed to get. And then there was one time where I bought a sandwich and I didn't get credited the AMP mission. So um, everything has uh, everything else has went pretty smoothly. But these kind of systems, there's a lot of stuff dovetailing together in the background uh, as far as um, different systems talking to each other to make uh, this magic of this game or this um, uh, it's it's more of a platform now they're developing it it is I guess the easiest way to call it is a game but it's more of a an earning platform because there's a lot of things going on that you can earn um, and like a lot of people say it's kind of tough calling Atlas Earth a game although I would argue that um, some different things I've been going through as far as strategizing on what to do um, and when to buy where to buy etc it has the notes of a strategy game, right? So either way, this has been Bronze Dragon. Let me know in the comments how you're doing with the new, uh, with the new ladder system um, and how many challenges you've completed thus far and what your outlook for the rest of the month is, uh, what you think you're going to do, and if you think you're going to subscribe next month. Otherwise, this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, I'll see you in Atlas Earth. Mm -hmm.